In this demo, I'm going to show some of the methods of extracting uh, data from your NOS database using HTTP and XML. So here we have a NOS database, a classic NOS database. I have a view and a bunch of documents. Uh, this database has, I believe, 53 different uh, documents. And if we look at a web version of this view, if you look at the URL, it says www.msdomino.net slash products.nsf. So my server name, my database name, and then slash products by ID is the view name, and then it says question mark open view. So that URL command to my Domino server will render this nice HTML page showing me um, the data in my view, plus some navigation and things. So this is a nice free function of your Domino server if your HTTP task is running. I can also change the last parameter instead of saying open view to say read view entries and now I get an XML version of this data. Now by default this data is uh, limited to I believe a hundred um, lines or hundred records. Um, so if I scroll down here to the very end actually you'll see that actually that even those 53 documents um, there's about 200 lines of, uh, of records. So what I've done is not only add the question mark review entries, but I also said ampersand count equals minus one. And that says give me all of the documents in that view, not just the first um, 100 records worth. So it's important you could set the count equal to some other number, like 100 or 50 or whatever, and that would work. So now I have this XML extract, if you would, of the Domino data um, coming out. But if you look at the data in here, you'll see that um, my elements are number one, and then you know number two, and then the text is next number one. So what we're missing here is the data is now inside of um, inside of attributes, not necessarily inside of elements, and that can be a problem. So I have text and things. So to fix that format, there's a couple of things I can do because if I try and use this XML in a lot of applications, I just won't be able to read it in the way we expect. So one thing I can do is I can <coughs> use this transform, this is an XSLT transform that I've created, and this transform just basically reformats that XML into something that becomes much more viewable. viewable. And there's lots of tools for you applying a transform to that XML, and so, and you can download this transform from interrupttips.com, you know, look inside the, the demo section and you'll find the fourth or fifth entry down there is uh, where you can find this and download it. So I've also written a Azure service. So what does that mean? It means I've done nothing more than take that uh, XSLT transform and add it to a web service. By web service I mean actually this is an Azure service. If you look at the URL here it says uh, reviewentriespage.cloud.net. Um, what that means is that that's my service and the default ASPX so that's the application that's going to run so when you call the URL it's going to run my Azure service, but it needs a parameter. And the parameter it needs is what data is it that you want to pass to it. So the data I'm now putting here is the URL to my Domino Read View Entry source. Now you could try this at home. This could be yours um, to uh, try because this is a public service. So if you take that URL and then apply your URL to your Domino server, your view, and then you say question mark review entries ampersand count equal minus one, you'll get all that data extracted and you'll end up with this nice result here of a bunch of XML. So this XML here is nicely formatted. Each one of these areas is a document, has the information I need, and it should work with any flat view that you have. Now if I also could have not used that Azure service, so maybe I can't get outside of the company, maybe I can't call the URL you know, external or something, what I can do is actually use an agent. So here I have an agent, it's a generic agent, and again you can download this agent off interrupttips.com. And this agent is um, inside a database called orders.nsf, and it's called XML export. And when you run this agent, it wants the parameters of what database do you want, what view, and so on. So it takes these parameters and then extracts those documents and then formats them in XML and returns them. So it's just another way I can create an agent that extracts that data. Um, this is a generic agent, but I could have a dedicated agent, lots of different ways. And, and the result is I have a URL that returns the data I want um, as often as I want, whenever I want, without ever doing um, anything special. And then lastly, this is just showing you um, a list inside of 
SharePoint where I've actually brought that data in and uh, you can display it and I've added more information to it. So <laughs> I just wanted to talk a little bit about different ways of getting data out of Notes and Domino. Lots of options. Some of them are very, very simple. Um, in XML, once you have that XML, there's lots you can do with it inside the Microsoft tools. So hopefully this has been helpful and hopefully you can think of a couple ways you can use that. Thank you.